everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the little makeover that I gave my bedroom. I'm one of those people that when everything stays the same for too long, it feels stale to me, I start to feel anxious, I start to feel sad. So I like to change things up. Even when it's not massive changes, I find that small changes do help me feel refreshed in my environment. So this is what it was looking like before, and this is after. First off, because we are coming into summer here, I took off the heavy sheets that were on my bed and I just had two thin cotton sheets on there because that's more than enough in summer here. Next you want to take everything out of the room. Now I was reassessing what I owned again so I'm going to get rid of some of these books and I'm going to take this whole cabinet out of my room and I'm going to take the cabinet to the gym. I cannot for the life of me remember where I bought these lights, but they're these two little hanging lights and I thought they'd look really cute up on the wall. So I tied them asymmetrically and then I put them over an adhesive hook. I did this because we have a pretty interesting corner in the bedroom, so I wanted to make it more of like a feature corner because I'll be popping a big plant in there too, which you'll see soon. Now I wanted to make a very, very low shelf, so I got some board from a hardware store. I painted the edges that weren't white white. Then I got some little legs as well. The legs were about 3 or $5 each, they were pretty cheap anyway. And I just screwed them into the top. You could use an electric drill, but I found that our electric drill was at the gym, so we had to use a screwdriver. It still went in easy enough. That's the shelf there, and this was me planning. I popped that frame there because I was trying to figure out if that's where I wanted it to go. Now, these were my IKEA hangers. I'm moving them into Bo's side of the wardrobe because he has a lot of plastic hangers that are breaking, and I've replaced mine with some Hankerman Classic Collection hangers. I swear these things are going to last me like 10 years, and they have felt on the edges so your clothes don't get damaged and they don't slip off. See how neatly they sit? Ah, so pretty. So that's what they look like hanging. Now the books that I did keep, I wanted to leave out as a feature. So I took the ones that were already laminated and I covered them with contact paper from Kmart. And this is like a matte black contact paper. And here they are sitting with my Villa and Stone candle. Now on the side of the bed, I've got my DIY vase and my DIY lamp. The black thing behind the bed that you can see is just some pegboard and it's painted black. I often use that for backgrounds in photos, so that's why I have that. Now the other lamp is currently drying as I record this, so there should be a video up soon with the DIY for that lamp project. Don't forget to subscribe so you can catch it. If anyone was wondering, we built a frame under the bed and the Bessa blocks are just around the edge. Now next to the bed I got a big pot and it's fake concrete, it's not real so it's not too heavy. That was from Bunnings. Then this is a white bird of paradise plant. This is my little low-lying shelf there, some of my Zalia shoes. The quote is, shine with all you have. When someone tries to blow you out, just take their oxygen and burn brighter. So take what they're giving you and burn brighter. This is a fake mother-in-law's tongue plant and that was just from Kmart. So this is the overall look. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I know I do. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Bye.